Hello everybody and welcome back to Purbeck. So it is now February and there is snow on the forecast. We have our snowplow just over there. So if it does snow heavily, that's fine. We can deal with it. But let's just see exactly when this snow is coming. Okay, pretty soon. Yep. In fact, it's going to be snowing for most of the day, starting at around 9 o'clock, which is in less than 45 minutes. I must say, it doesn't look like snow, but things can change quickly. So really, it doesn't matter if it's going to snow all day, because we only need to really do feeding. Uh, we need to do feeding, and uh, we need to also give the cows some more water. So the feed mixture is in here. Let's open the shed. We'll hopefully be progressing onto uh, the next month today. This should be empty, yep. Looking a bit grubby. Uh, so if we get the John Deere, we'll get that attached to it, and we'll get it pulled out of there. And really it shouldn't take too long to feed them, because they're not completely out of food. They do still have at least a third. So yeah, probably uh, certainly one full load, maybe two, we'll see. But yeah, we've got the uh, new Holland there with the front loader. So let's engage the PTO, get this machine going. And we'll grab the hay bales first of all. So we're gonna pop two hay bales into there, then a full silage bale, and then we'll just do it to the top with straw. We do have two more hay bales in the other sheds, so that's all right. We should make it through to the spring. I guess if the worst comes to the worst, I could just put more silage in instead of more hay. But no, I think we'll be fine. Okay, so in go the two hay bales. Now for a silage bell. We probably won't need to make a silage again for a while, but definitely more hay. We actually have silage in the pit as well, so we have plenty. Okay, brilliant, and then we should have a straw bale which we're already using. It looks like this one on its own is the one which we're going to be shredding first. Yeah, it won't consume it all, but it will take some of it, probably about 2,000 litres. Okay, brilliant. So we're still left with 45%. So let's now get that put into their trough. Should we go? I think we'll probably go through here, otherwise it means going through the mud. Should be snowing soon. Where's the snow? It did say 9 o'clock, but sometimes it starts early. Okay, we'll make sure we're set to left. Um, are we on the left? It does say right. There we go. Good. Very good. Try and fill up their trough evenly. This cow is inquisitive. That cow is inside the mixer. So how are they doing? Oh, looking very good. I'll do another full mixer load, because then we can top it up and then we can gradually refill over time. Then we'll be on to water.
plan is we'll get them fully topped up. Nice and full. There we go, 33,750 litres. Uh, they're doing okay for water, but that's probably still about three loads, and we only have a very small tank. Um, so yeah, it's a bit of casting that we have to do there. But also, they probably have some milk to sell. As soon as we have spare money, we'll get a bigger water tank. But although we have £89,000, we actually do still have uh, a loan. And if we were to repay the loan, we'd have nothing. So <laughs> yes, we have um, less money than what it appears on the surface. So we've got to keep going with our small... Actually, I might as well use the John Deere. Yeah, our smaller tanker. With the hope of replacing it fairly soon. How much milk do we have? 6,000 litres, so it's actually um, probably probably three over three loads of milk in this tank. When is the price at its best for milk? September and January, although February is very good, March is pretty good. February now, so it actually is it's at its best price. 2283. Yep. 2270. We should get it sold. Um, if we knock that time back to times five, I can do the water and hopefully we can sell some milk. We'll get some money back in. But the snow is here. Um, I don't know if it's going to start settling. I would have thought it would do because it is below zero now, the temperature. So it'll probably give in a few hours and we'll have a good covering. And then we'll need the snow plow. But let's just get this water tank, this water trough, uh, to a fairly decent level. I don't suppose it needs to be 100%, but it would be good if we can get it to 100%. Right then, this should be it. This should be the final load that we have to do. There's no point coming back to get it like if they're only 500 litres short because then we'll have to empty the tank and waste 1,500 litres of water because we need the same tank for the milk. I know it's not very hygienic. Uh, we'll have to pretend that it's been sterilised and everything. But yeah, we'll be uh, carting in the other direction, I think, for this, for the milk. Although there were several different options, I'm not too sure exactly where the best one was. But we'll soon find out. So much better now that it doesn't rain and snow inside. It still comes through a little bit, but it's really very good. Uh, so they've taken all of that. Oh, look at that. So they are, they're probably about, I don't know, 250 litres short. It's absolutely pointless going back for more. So it's all looking really, really good. And they can continue producing their slurry. Which we're going to spread on the fields. We're still in the process of spreading. We'll be doing it all winter. And then we have cover crops to put on. I think it's March that we can do cover crops. Um, let me just check. Yes. So actually, next month we can start to drill. Uh, it is just a, a cover crop, as I say, a green manure, which is going to be there for just one month. Then it'll be drilled again, but we'll get a full application of fertiliser. So anyway, let's reverse or probably drive forwards into here to get the milk. Where's the trigger? There it is. So we are off to this one here, 2271 Mole Valley. Is that... Oh, nice, it is up there. So we're doing an awful lot of driving in this direction. 
Um, but that is, I'd say, the closest cell point anyway, so that is perfect. That's worked out so well. Uh, I wonder when this snow is going to start to settle. It must be imminent. I think we're still below zero. The temperature. Uh, let's see here. Oh, it is zero. It is zero now, but it is going to increase. Oh, maybe it won't then. We'll see. Should be nice and fast selling three loads. And we should get, what would it be, about £5,000 for each load? We'll soon find out. Four and a half. Brilliant. Maybe we can repay a bit more of the loan soon. Load number two. We almost hit 100,000. We should do after load number three. So we must have something left in there, just 400 litres. So we're getting the majority sold. I think we can drill the cover crop in the field which we've done the slurry in already, in this episode. Obviously not in this day, we will have to rest. But there probably isn't anything else for us to do anyway, so that's the milk done. We have £103,000. Sadly, that's going to be short-lived. Uh, we're going to keep eating away at this loan. We have £80,000 left, so let's repay... Yeah, we'll get it down to 50. So we still have 73000 At least some of the money that we have is actually ours. It's not all the banks, so uh, that loan will be disappearing pretty soon. Yeah, it's become much milder. The small amount of frost that we had on the grass has melted. So that might be it actually for the snow ploughing this year. <laughs> we didn't do much and it melted whilst we were ploughing, so uh, yeah, very fitting for England. It's not a very snowy winter once again. Right, I probably shouldn't have attempted to reverse this. That's not going to end well. Okay, well it can stay there. Just as long as it's off the road. And I think we can go to bed. Because there's nothing else to do. Oh, probably best if we don't leave the gate open. Otherwise we're not going to have any cows at all. <laughs> They'll just go wandering across the fields. But that should be fine. There's no point waiting for anything. We will obviously have to spread more slurry, but that will all be done this month. March is our slurry and cover crop drilling month. And it is essential that we do the cover crop, because otherwise it won't be ready in time. Because we still need to put another crop in this spring. And that's going to involve things like corn, which has to be in by May. And, oh, actually, we could do sunflowers if we can get... There is actually a header. There is a sunflower header for our combine, so... Sunflowers, that would be interesting. I very rarely do sunflowers, but I think I should do. That would be good. Right, so it's looking much milder. I think, yes, the council can have their plough back. That's the plough gone. They have now received it. And I think for now, I'm going to put this in here. I do still have the wheel loader. I don't know what to do for the best with that. I think I would like to keep it. It's not that expensive to keep. Okay, let's just drop off this trailer. Wait for it to do its animation. All very nice. And we'll attach to the drill. The drill probably does still have seed in it. We don't need fertilizer. Because otherwise it's going to make our cover crop pointless because otherwise we might as well just spend fertiliser whilst doing the drilling of the main crop. We only want to be buying seed to get a free application of fertiliser. So yeah, we do have seed. Let's get that set to the cover crop, all seed radish. There we go. This field has been fully fertilised with the slurry. Well, the first application, I mean. Let's just see exactly what the situation is. Yep, single application. 
So once this crop has grown, it will be 100% fertilised. We could go into that grass area. I did do that actually in the first episode, but then I had to reset everything when I upgraded the map, when I updated it. Um, yeah, we can go a bit further into it. We don't want to go fully into it, because otherwise there's going to be nowhere to put the combine's header. Well, I suppose we could also go a bit further into here, into this grass headland. But that's good. We're already drilling. At least it's not snowing. I guess that is the end of the snow. Yep. Very, very nice. Just make a neat headland first of all. And then we can just simply go up and down the field and get things done nice and quickly. We then have this next field, not the one directly in front of us, but the one over from there. That one was our cornfield, and I think I did actually finish the slurry spreading in there as well. We did some of it with digestate, but it is done, so that also needs to be drilled. But we're still working in the big field, the big cornfield over there. I wish I could point <laughs> in front of us, beyond the grass field. And, yeah, there's also fill number 34, so we're not going to be able to do slurry in all of them, as we won't have enough slurry. But we can do as much as possible. Hopefully the rest of that field over there. Okay, well that is this field, almost finished. I just need to tidy up this bottom piece. I did sort of mess it up when I was turning, but it's fine, we've got plenty of space there. And it feels weird to say that that is the field fertilized after drilling. <laughs> we have fertilized it. I think this field is gonna be a cornfield but I definitely want to do some sunflowers right that should be tidy enough so let's go to that smaller field the tighter field which is not going to be corn because that was corn last year I guess that would be a good one for sunflowers but then at the same time yeah we've got to be able to get the combine into there it's a bit of a tight one actually that field is better as grass but um, yeah we'll, we'll probably just keep it as an arable field, I guess. I'm not too sure if we'll actually get the combine up here. Can you do corn after corn? I don't know if you should do. Well, I know in this game you can do, but just trying to role play a bit there. Just trying to be a bit more realistic. Well, in it goes. In goes our cover crop. And this will be nice and fast. But we can't do any more today, because we do need to do more storage spreading. 
We have 9,000 litres of digestate, so although... Uh, is that... I don't think that's quite a full tank load. Is it? Maybe it is. Well, we're going to use it. We have to use it up. And then hopefully the cows have produced quite a bit more slurry since when we last checked. Finished. Okay, so we'll just go and check and see exactly how much slurry we have, because that's what we need to do next time. Let's just open this gate. It's not an ideal field for any kind of combinable crop, just because of how tight it is. Oh, that's rough. <laughs> And I think, actually, yeah, I'll just leave this here. There we go. It's done a good job. So, yeah, I'd hope for at least 15,000 litres. We have... Ah, oh, good, 18,324. So if we have that plus the 9,500, hopefully that'll be enough to finish the other cornfield. 35. Certainly should be. And then I guess anything we have left can go into 36, but I don't really expect there to be much at all for 36. But that's all good. 41 and 44 will turn to fully fertilised when that crop grows. But that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.